Morning everyone, hope you're um, staying well and staying safe during this very unusual time. Uh, I was up at one of the theological colleges teaching yesterday and part of the module was on change and uh, leading through times of change. And one of the triggers for change is crisis. And of course we find ourselves in one of those moments now where we have to do church in a very, very different way uh, because of what's uh, happening and uh, at this stage and um, during this time it's important that we stay connected let me encourage each one of you to stay connected with one another the telephone was a wonderful invention all those years ago and keeping in touch on phone calls is great and of course other technology like zoom and skype and other ways are a great way to do it in fact next week's uh, sessions that i'll be teaching um, at the college will be remotely through Zoom, which will be a new experience to me, but hopefully I can work that all out, already started to do that. Um, but during times of crisis and during this time, it is very, very easy uh, to feel stressful. It's very easy to feel anxious. It's very easy to feel traumatized as well. And with all the panic that's out there, we can lose our peace. And I was reminded of the passage in Matthew 14, where the disciples were on the boat and the storm came out of nowhere and they were full of panic, they were full of anxiety, they had lost their peace until Jesus came to them and he stilled the storm, peace was, uh, was restored and they do something that has not been recorded in the Bible up to that moment. They corporately worshipped together now they had witnessed a lot of the miracles they had witnessed the healings they had witnessed some deliverance they had heard jesus teach with authority um, offer forgiveness to folk and yet there's no record of them worshiping after that so what was different here what was different here was they were the ones who were rescued out of the storm and at this time let me just encourage you to call on the lord Jesus said uh, in John 16, 33, I have told you these things so that in me you may have peace. In this world you will have trouble, but take heart, I have overcome the world. There's one place that we can go to at times like this, and that is to God. Our careers will not save us, money will not save us, things will not save us. There's just one place to go and during a time that we can't meet corporately to worship let me encourage you to come to Jesus call on him and simply worship him at this time and you can do that as individuals you can do that in uh, families you can do that in a whole variety of ways and technology helps us to do that as well there's great worship songs up on YouTube whether your uh, style is Bethel or Hillsong or whatever it may be let me just encourage you during this time. There are many, many ways we can come and worship. And during times like that, it's good just to come and worship. Certainly when I was recovering a few years ago from my open heart surgery, when my mitral valve was repaired, and during what appeared to be every complication I could get in the six months following it, the Lord just kept saying, simply come, simply worship. Let me just encourage you. Um, to do that at this time.